lovely weather today. What's up guys? So, I still have the 72 volts battery, but today I have a Nuclear 24F hidden under the stock cooling plate and it takes time to fine tune it. So last week uh, was my first ride with it and it was really horrible because the throttle response was way too violent and uh, it's not about the power, it's about having a smooth and manageable throttle. I took time yesterday to tune a bit the, the controller with a uh, different throttle curves and I'm um, now going to fine tune it a bit more to see if it works well. When it's snowy like that, what's cool is that if you can manage the power on such a uh, slippy terrain, you know it's fine basically. Salut! Really, it's not bad. Considering the lack of traction, When you're riding off-road you have some micro movements on the throttle and if it reacts too fast the ride is going to be jerky. I really want it to stop accelerating super fast but this will smooth the throttle a bit. It's way better, so I don't know if you guys can see when it's better. Now I'm going to save it. Let's check something. So, this is half. This is the part of the swaddle you really want precision. You need precision right here. If it starts like crazy, you break traction. Now, when you passed 
50 percent and you you like twist it hard you're not in the precision anymore so you can't get the full power in less degrees of rotation that's that's the logic behind it throttle curve 0 4 14 not going to save right away not trying to have setting specifics for today it has to be general so today we know we have no traction out of the day with more traction i want it to to work well too and i don't want to change the settings for each ride hey see i don't have it's not jerky and if i want more if i want to grab traction I break it, but it has to be on purpose. Can I go up there? That is the question. That's when you know the throttle settings are good. Oh. <laughs> Not sure. Yes. I see, it's I see. Not breaking momentum. Whoa! -ho -ho. All right, baby. Oh, super icy. Nice. I'm in love with this throttle now. Oh, oh, oh. So I'm going to show you around the um, controller, how things work and uh, how to tune it for your specific battery and the power you're aiming at. Here is the home screen of the controller. Battery's current voltage, 
amps fed to the motor, the power that you still have in the battery. So my battery is at 72 volts and uh, it's like it's actually at 65, so it's almost empty. Power drone from the battery. Moffset temp, motor temp, you have statistics, general user statistics and trip statistics. If you want to tune it, you go into devices, you validate there's only one controller right now. You can have several controllers uh, connected to one display. Well, generally on a bike, you will only have one. So we get into the controller itself. First thing, you can set up the controller for your specific battery. Full charge actually is uh, the max voltage per cell. It's used for regen, so it doesn't overcharge the cells. I don't use regen, so I didn't even configure it. Supply max. So this is um, depending on the, the voltage of your battery. This is a 72 volts battery. So when it's fully charged, uh, it's at 84 volts. And uh, when it's empty, it's at 60 volts. But obviously, if you have a 60 volts battery, it would be 72 when it's fully charged at search that. So it depends on your battery. Charge max, again, is for the whole pack. How many amps um, do you want the, the controller to supply when it's region, like when it uses a uh, region breaking? Discharge max, mine can be discharged at 350. Usually, if you, if you configure it too high and the BMS uh, won't allow it, uh, you may have a uh, power cut. It's just set to zero. It means uh, it's not uh, that won't be limited. So we started with the battery. Then if you 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 have just uh, connected it to the um, to the motor and to the motor and everything, you will have to go to auto setup, and you can do all the the auto setup. Um, process here. Control modes then. You have different control modes. Uh, I forgot to mention it. Oh, going back to the mainstream. This is the current control mode you're into. I only use one. Uh, if you have um, a switch on the handlebar, you can switch between different modes. Phase has to be between 1.5 and two times the max battery you're allowing. So remember we have set up the max discharge current on the battery. This one will take precedence. Uh, you have a boost for five seconds and then one minute cooling. I will have a boost of uh, 50 amps for five seconds. Power is the power you want. 13 for me is, uh, I think it's a good balance. And speed is the max motor speed. 150 is the max it can go. So braking phase, I don't use regen again, so it's at zero. Uh, otherwise, it would break. Speed reverse, I don't use reverse. Field weakening, 200 ohms. What does that mean? It means that it will use that current to to make the motor spin faster uh, than its maximum speed. So when it reaches full speed, let's say 200 amps, and you've configured 400 amps, it will use that 200 amps uh, to try to rotate the motor faster. This is very, very important. It will uh, tune the behavior of the throttle and the motor. It's actually the speed at which um, power current is fed to the motor. Acceleration is actually a response to the throttle input. Braking, again, I don't use it as there's no regen, so, so I don't use it. And shutdown is when you release both brakes and throttle, uh, how fast, um, current drops into the motor. Any other very important stuff? Control. Control source, uh, throttle mode, sorry. 
Riding off-roads, I will suggest torque mode, which means the throttle manages torque only. Uh, you have speed and you have torque plus speed, which are, I find weird, throttle and brake curves. That This is where the magic happens from start. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Last one. You have more power concentrated into the last four steps. And in the first 25%, there's really not much power because this is where you absolutely need to have a smooth response. So you have presets. How it works, you choose one, you apply it. Linear means that each step equals every other. I don't really like it because it's brutal at the beginning. Um, then you have several other ones, exponential, normal, polynomial. If you want to start fine tuning for yourself, I would recommend starting from polynomial. That's what I did. It's pretty fine out of the box, but then you fine tune it to your own liking and you will need to write for that. As long as you don't save, you can try it and the behavior is applied instantly. But if you don't like it, just turn it off, back on, and when you get back to it, see control, no, control, curves, yes, it's back to my own tuning.